Tony, day of the fight, how are you feeling? Amazing, to be fair, can't wait. We're here now. Let's go, let's, let's get it done. This is your second venture into BKB. Yeah. How was your first fight? You know, how was that experience? Do you know, the experience was amazing. I wasn't really nervous. I mean, I lost to a three-round fight, which I, I am, I'm happy with because it was a good war, a good battle. That's, how, that's what I come for. Um, I underperformed a bit, but no to do with pressure, no to do with nerves or anything. It was just, I fell back into my old ways when I was injured. Um, I got my rib broken first round. I felt it crack and then I just fell back into my old ways. But I stayed in there, ride it out till the third round and I was happy. I went all the way, went the distance, even though I did lost. But tonight, first round, that's me. I'm going in there with full aggression. No Mr. Nice Guy no more. This is me now, so, yeah, leaving the good side out the ring. You know, there is something about the uh, the atmosphere and the, the environment, you know, for fighting from hay bales to yeah. fighting at the O2. It's a big step up, isn't it? Oh, it's massive. It's, all, it's all, the professionalism here is amazing, to be fair. All set up, production, the lights, the place, the venue. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's a big step up from uh, the fields and the car parks that we used to, yeah, so... Yeah, big upgrade. And like, from the last fight, you were saying how you've just started properly training in boxing. Yes, yeah. You know, how has that developed to this fight now? Yeah, it's really well, to be fair. Like, I mean, I just started doing all my one-to-ones previous to my last fight, so I've obviously got all my knowledge from there, and I've been doing it up to this fight, so I'm just getting better and better, and obviously I'm, I'm going to be more like ad adapted for the ring, do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm just going to get better and better each fight, so, yeah. What do you think are the biggest lessons you've learned from the last fight, taking in, taking them into this one? Um, just just using my space as much. I mean, I'm not used to a space. I'm, I'm used to fighting in A bales, eight by eight. So I've always, I'm just used to getting to know the space and the distance and the standing back and that and the range. That's it for me. The range. That's what I struggled with last time. But now I'm going straight, straight in there. I'm going to do a big demolition job. But I'm prepared and I'm ready. Let's talk about your opponent, Don Wilkinson. Yeah. He's also an experienced bare knuckle fighter. Yeah, yeah. It's his BKB debut. Yeah. So you're both kind of new to BKB, but you're not new to bare knuckle. What are you expecting from him? To be honest with you, I'm not quite sure because obviously he's done underground fighting, he's done no rules, he's done it, he's done it all. Um, he's done it in Octagon. He did BKB in the Octagon. Uh, sorry, not the Octagon, the Trigon. Uh, for BYB. The the so uh, really, I'm, sure I'm, just, I'm, I'm expecting the best out of him, really. I could do anybody. I don't expect nothing from anybody starts. apart from the best. Do you know what I'm saying? So I just expect him to come at me like he's some, one of the greatest, which I do with anybody. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm just going to be prepared for a bit of everything. Now, looking at you two on paper, you know, you've got the reach advantage, a huge height advantage. You know, do you think that's going to come into play a lot this fight? Well, I don't know, but I don't really look into that because I've, every fight I've ever had, I've always given like a stone away. I've always been the smaller guy. I, it's the opposite for me now. What you see me with him now is what I've been through all my fights. Every single fight I've had, I've always given a stone away. I've always been miles smaller than my opponent. So I don't really see it as an advantage or a disadvantage. I mean, it doesn't matter how big or small you are. I've beat loads of guys bigger than heavier than me. So it doesn't really matter, to be fair. So it's just it's new to me to be finding someone smaller. So we'll see how it goes. It could be harder. You never know. It, it's just something to learn about, so isn't it? It's very much kind of taking it as it comes then. Yeah, exactly that, yeah. So, like I say, it's new to me to fight somebody smaller, so... But, like I say, there's no uh, advantage or disadvantage to it for him or me, so... Because size means nothing, so it neither does weight, really. Yeah. But... Now, speaking of weight, we're just moments away from the weigh-in. Yeah. What is that process like from now? You know, is there kind of like a zoning and visualization process? You know, how are you? How do you prepare for the fight on fight day? Yeah, I just stay. I just stay quiet to myself. I just keep my own thoughts in my own head. I just stay focused. You know what I mean? I try not to get involved with everyone talking to me. I mean, I do talk to people, but I just stay in my own little uh, bubble. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just go quiet and I just stay focused, calm and collective, ready for the time. And you know, if you had to sum up what the fans can expect to see from you tonight, what would it be? A lot of a wilder child than you've seen last time. Yeah. Trust me, yeah. Last time, um, I was just, obviously, it was my debut, but not for this, com uh, for this company only. I mean, I've had BKB fights in octagons, uh, everything, ring. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to take it as it comes, and uh, I'm just going to go and do my thing, really. I mean, all plans go out window when you get in there, so I'm just going to try and keep focus and just do what I'm going to do. There's no actual, uh, no actual thing what I'm going to do yet, but we'll see. Tony, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.